Hey guys, what is Super Street Crafter to you? Uh, welcome to episode 9, maybe? I think this is episode 9. Don't quote me though. I guess before I'm so bad remembering what episode number it is when I'm recording, but I think this is 9. So, as the episode, we did this pumpkin form. Um, it all works great, and then I've just finished this man form. It's all fully working and done. I actually put some glass on the top, um, which I'll do, you know, soonish. Um, so this is all working. It's exactly the same as the pumpkin form. Um, I didn't join the um, item elevators together. I decided to make two separate item elevators so that I didn't have to make a sorting system, which would be a lot more complicated. So I'm just going to go over there. Uh, it actually goes along behind that way up into um, an item elevator, which comes up behind here. Uh, if we come here, yeah, which comes here into those hoppers, into the chests, and that all works perfectly fine. Um, where's those light grey? There we go. So the smell in here coming, and we've got a bit of pumpkin. I'm really happy that I went with the smaller ones, because if I went with like really big ones, like 10 times bigger, the chests would fill up way too fast. I wouldn't be able to keep up with the amount of pumpkin demand I'm getting. So I'm, I'm happy with that. Um, got a little bit of iron. The slime form keeps going off, unfortunately, because the hopper mine courts don't work very well on servers. But I'm, I'm just going to leave it because, to be honest, that's probably more slime than we could be needing for a long time. And if I do need more, then I'll go f fix the mine courts and get that working. But um, for now, that is fine. So next we're going to be doing the sugarcane form. As I'm recording this right now, I have no idea what design I'm using yet. Um, it'll probably be some sort of ill mango design because he's the best. Minecraft engineer out there. Um, so that one will be going maybe in, in, in this. I mean, this may make a difference either way. But, um, yeah, we could be making the sugar game fall. Now, I kind of just want to come on and give it a brief update because um, I'm going to go dig this out because obviously you don't want to watch me dig this out because it'll be super boring. I'm going to come up with a design and I'm going to come back and show you the design I've come up with. Or the design I'm using, which I'm going to try and incorporate into this shape and size. And then um, I'll come back, show you what I've got, build the rest of it off camera, come back when it's finished, give you another update, and that's probably how this, today's video is going to go. Since a lot of this is going to be repetitive and not really that interesting to see. But I'll show you how it works and how it's um, being incorporated into this size. So yeah, I'll see you when I've took out this big hole and I've got a design. So I'll see you in two seconds. Okay guys, so I found a design that I quite like, um, it's quite simple, the reason I picked this one is because it, the redstone is so super simple, and um, there are more efficient forms, there's ones that work better, but this is the one I've picked purely because of the redstone simpleness, where it's basically one piston, one observer, and one piece of redstone per sugarcane. So you just put a row of sugarcane, put piston facing it, observers on top, a line of redstone, and bish bash bosh you're done. It's so simple, and I can actually demonstrate how it works. And basically, when the observer, when the sugarcane goes in front of the observer, it activates the observer, which activates the red, so which activates the piston, pushes them all out, breaks the sugarcane, and knocks it down into the bottom. And it's literally as simple as that. Anyone can make this in like minutes. So it's going to take me next to no time to make this in our area. I'm going for the same height as this. For the same reason that I don't want to get loads really fast, it's going to be... It's not going to be slow, but it's not going to be fast. It's just going to be a nice speed so that I can keep on top of it. And so I'm probably going to come back when it is all done and dusted and I'll give you a show off. Um, also, um, you can't really see many blocks behind it. Um, uh, I don't know what that was. Actually, you're not, you're, you're not going to be able to see this corner, so I'll just cover that. Um, I'm using light, uh, light grey for um, the block they can actually see inside. Like the same as these, I use light grey in these guys. As you can see, uh, the metal form, a little bit disc gets stuck every now and then, but it doesn't really matter. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm going for. Uh, I'll show you when I'm done. I'll see you in two seconds. Okay guys, we are back for the last update of the video, where basically, it's done. Uh, we've got all the slime form in, uh, not slime form, sugar cane form in. Uh, it's actually slightly higher than the, um, well it's one block higher to the four, but I went for three layers. Just like the pumpkin and melon form, just because I thought, um, you know, like, like before, I don't want to get too much too fast. Otherwise, it means, you know, like emptying out the, the storage system and stuff. And 
If we're being honest, sugar cane doesn't have a huge, massive use at the minute. Yeah, you can make it into peat, but I don't trade it to villages, and that, that's pretty much it. But uh, yeah, I quite like the design. It, um, for the, uh, the system going down, it's basically going up that way. For, I don't know why I jumped down ladders for that, I don't really need to. Um, it went down, it goes up to the side, like around here. I think it goes forwards. Cool, it comes up around there. Uh, let's see. Basically, comes up to there. You can see it there. It goes along into this hopper system, into these chests, and into here. There we go. Uh, I'll actually fix that a little bit. You can't even see any of this, but I don't know why. I just like it to look nice. Uh, I'll put you there because I'm gonna be doing the cactus farm next episode anyway. Uh, so yeah, that, that's basically that is the sugarcane farm done. So we've done slime, iron, melon, pumpkin, sugarcane, all done and dust there. So you heard the Brian. Uh, so next next episode, cactus, cactus, cactus. Probably out of all of them, cactus is the easiest. There's no redstone involved whatsoever to make a cactus farm. It's super easy and simple. I, I, I can't wait for this one because it's going to be so nice to make a nice, easy, simple one. Yeah, and then all of our AFK form generator thingamabobbies will be done. I, we can focus on our generator room where we'll have like the obsidian generator and the automatic fish form and blah, 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 all that kind of stuff. Um, so yeah, that, that'll be all good. And this is what, I am keeping track of the time, but this will probably be a super short episode. Since you didn't really see much, um, like there wasn't much to see. Like oh, the redstone for this was so simple, so there wasn't much to show off there. Um, so yeah, but you know what? The short episodes, the still episodes. I just want you guys to know what I'm doing on the server, even if it's not so much commentary as it is updates. And um, while I'm making this, it just means I get keep you up to date with what's going on. And I think I'll finish off by showing you this thing. So a uh, hungry squid came to our base, and uh, I wasn't here, I think it was AFK or something. Because I've been on the quite, well, well, not most of the day, but quite a lot today. Uh, oop, I fell there. So I don't know how we managed to do that, I've been noticing. But he made like a netherrack house. And uh, there's actually a sign here saying, squid's house, and still waiting for my cage, aka summer home. So he's on by the zoo there. Because we told him he could have a place in our zoo since he's a squid. And um, we're still gonna make the zoo obviously, but we're waiting. Um, so after we shulk of boxes so we can do all that stuff. So you know what? I'm leaving the squid's house here. It's 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 proof that we have people on the server coming and visiting us. We're just like, I still need to fix this stupid prank. I got rid of all the oak trees. They're around here. I still need to fix these stupid trees, which is annoying. We'll get revenge for that. Once our uh AFK area, all of our stuff here is done. Then we'll get we'll get revenge. I have been thinking of different pranks I can do, but I don't want to see what the are because he might be watching this video, and then he'll know what to expect. And I don't want it to be a surprise. So I'm not saying anything, but but I haven't forgotten about it. We will be getting revenge. So yeah, and uh, just let you know, I've put some food in here as well. So got a bunch of steak and stuff. But yes, that is the episode. See on the Diamond Society. I, I, I don't even know what I think this is episode 9 maybe don't quote me on that though uh, subscribe if you like the videos and you want to see some more and like because it gives me motivation and it makes me happy so I'll see you in the next episode thank you bye